Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, May 8th, 2020. Welcome to another eBay video. As you can see, it is cloudy and raining, no change. Do you want to know what the forecast is for tonight? I don't think anyone's going to be able to guess this one. It's going to be rain changing to snow. Snow into tomorrow morning. They're saying one to two inches in May. Unbelievable. This is the coldest recorded May since 1977. That is the last time we had temperatures this cold. It'll be in the 30s tonight and it will be snowing. So yeah, let's talk about eBay. A very interesting thing happened to me. I woke up this morning to a negative feedback. I got negged in the middle of the night. Before we actually talk any more about it, I want to do a cutaway. I want to show you exactly what went down and everything behind it. So let's take care of that first. Okay guys, it's Friday morning. I got up, I checked my eBay account, and what do I have? A negative feedback. This really surprised me because I rarely ever get a negative feedback. So I looked at it, it says the hubcap was broken. Which is weird because I would never send out a broken cap and I do know that let's say in the rare event a hubcap or any item was received by a buyer that was broken in transit they would contact me for a refund or to make it right. So when I saw this, I said, let me see the item. I click on the item, and I said, wait a minute, hold the phone here. Something's not right with this. If you guys remember, about two or three weeks ago, I did a video about this very eBayer, and I told you guys the story about how he canceled. So I went back to my sales report, and sure enough, you can see here is that guy, Guillermo Eldridge, who canceled the item and never even paid for it. Yet he can leave me a negative feedback. This, <laughs> this is so shocking. I mean, most of you guys who've been watching my videos over the last couple of weeks, remember I told the story about this guy who bought the item, wanted to cancel, and I waited a full 24 hours. The video is about a week or two old. You can go back and view it. So I said, he's got a feedback of four. I said, let me check the feedback he's left for people. He's only left one feedback, and it was for me, and it was negative. I don't understand, A, how he can lie like a rug and say the hubcap was broken when he never paid for it. But what really upsets me is the fact that because he never paid for it, he is able to leave a buy, excuse me, he's able to leave a seller negative feedback. I am shocked. Don't worry. I'll call eBay shortly and get this removed. I gotta have my coffee first. I'm no good early in the morning. But I am shocked absolutely appalled that things that happened in 1999 are still going on May of 2020. These loopholes abound on eBay. I am absolutely disgusted that a person, a scammer like this, who does not pay for his item, can leave negative feedback for sellers. Let me end this section here, let me have my coffee, and I'll come back and we'll discuss this more in detail. So yeah guys, to rehash, I'm sure many of you will remember my video 
only about two weeks ago, maybe even less, where I showed you the cancellation corner and I even said to you guys, should I cancel or should I not? Should I cancel or should I not? And then I said, I'm going to navigate away and I'm going to wait 24 hours to make my decision. That was the guy who left me the negative feedback. And he said the hubcaps were broken, but nothing was ever sent to him. He is an outright fitchy person. The account, in my opinion, is highly questionable. And I contacted eBay. I called them this morning, right after I made that video. And they looked at it. And I said, listen, guys. I said, I think this is a fraudulent account. He's only left one feedback, and it was for me, and it was a negative. And you can clearly see he asked to cancel, and nothing was ever sent to him, and he's claiming the hubcaps are broken. So that's being sent off to trust and safety, and we'll see what happens. But I think that account is going to go bye-bye. That's just my opinion. But it bothers me. It bothers me not just that the Fitchy buyer left the neg, but that he was able to leave the neg. Because I did not know that unpaid buyers were still able to neg sellers, but it's apparently the case. Things that were happening to us in the year 1999 are still happening in the year 2020, 21 years later. A person, and I verified this with eBay today on the phone, so listen to me. A person can either win your item and not pay and say, I want to cancel, or can actually pay you and then say, I want to cancel. And at that time, those people can leave you negative feedback even if they do not pay. The rep claimed that if a person is just a regular ham and egger, did beat bitter like if he buys your item and doesn't pay and you open an unpaid item case and he still doesn't pay and the case is closed out the rep said he cannot then leave negative feedback but that's purely conjecture on my part that has not been borne out i would like to know from any of you guys in the last year have you been negged by a person that did not pay you. Because I want to pursue this avenue. Whether the person either A, just was a regular ham and egg or deadbeat, didn't pay you, or whether they asked to cancel, like my guy did, and he was a fitchy person, and he left you a negative for the sole purpose of hurting your account. Can any of you guys watching this video theorize why this guy left me a negative feedback considering he asked to cancel and I obliged him. It's not like he said, well, I wanted to cancel and the guy waited 24 hours to contact me. He outright lied and said the hubcaps were broken. I didn't send him anything. So if anybody has any idea as to what the motive was behind that, I'm really interested in this because I'm going to pursue this. You guys know how I am. I'm like a dog with a bone. When I get my hands on something, I don't let go until it's resolved. I think you all know that. <laughs> and on that note, I will stop and take my first drink from the Fox News Cup of Life. This is the Fox News Cup of Life. Happy is he who drinks from it. Cold, rainy day, snow on the way, nothing better than the Fox News couple of life. All right, next item. Tonight, I will be going live right here on this channel at 7 o'clock p.m. sharp. Link is in the description box below. Feel free to stop by and bring any eBay questions you have or any New York City location video questions you have. It'll basically be an open forum, and I think that we'll all have a good time and enjoy ourselves. If this turns out to be successful, it's something I'm going to do repeatedly. If it gives me any trouble, if there are any glitches whatsoever, 
you know I have absolutely no patience for glitches, then it'll be something I do very infrequently. But we're going to see how it goes. I do plan on having one or more guests tonight. I will not reveal any names at this point because, you know, things are always tentative. People don't know if they can make it, this and that. Sometimes people say they can and they can't, you know. So, yeah, 7 o'clock Eastern Time right here on the Crazy New York Driver Show for an open mic night. Basically, the floor is yours and I'll be answering questions. I got to keep this video short because it's Friday afternoon and I still have a lot of things to do. I have more eBay listings to do and I have some other things that need to be done as well. So don't worry, you'll see me in a few hours right back here. So guys, it is Friday so I'm going to do my official closing now. Okay guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. Each Friday. And during the week now, I come out here and I make these videos to try and help you stay successful on eBay. If you think I'm doing a good job, please leave me a thumbs up. It tells me I'm on point and appreciated. If you don't think I'm doing a good job, let me know in the comments section what you want me to hit up and I'll be glad to do it in my next video if possible. Remember, I'm a seller friend, not a seller critic or skeptic of any kind. I've solved a lot of problems. I'm still making money online. I've never worn a mask and I never will. I will never change my voice or distort it in any way to hide my identity because I feel that's dishonest and unscrupulous. Heck, I'm a CEO and a CFO of my own company. So yeah, that being said guys, I want you to go out there, make a ton of money on eBay, rock on and peace. Yeah, this is very important. I want you to take this to the bank. Don't be fitchy! <laughs> yeah, yeah!